greetings and welcome back to Planning with Penguins. Okay, so we are going to do a little bit of work in my wellness planner. And basically, I'm going to show you how I'm adding my guided journals into my wellness planner. So I've been doing pretty well, I feel, in my wellness planner. So I'll kind of show you guys where I'm at. I've decided to keep track of stats uh, here. So I'm a few days behind. I need to fill in a few days. But basically, I made myself a key. I have my steps, my stand hours, um, my move calories, distance, exercise minutes, resting heart rate. And then if I do track my um, in-depth sleep stats, my sleep hours, and then I have like deep sleep and mindfulness moments as well. So some days I'll have those and some days I don't. Um, so I kind of like set up the key for myself here and use one of these little cards. So I've done pretty well. Um, I did not get this weekend done, but I can go and back plan. And I'm going to have to back, back plan for this week as well um, because I just didn't sit down and do it. So I'm going to do that uh, after I'm done with uh, showing you guys this. So we're going to focus mainly on my wellness journey part of my wellness planner. So I have this divider here from the Healthy Hero Planner, and it's labeled my wellness journey. So right now I have these weekly check-in sheets right here, and they're undated, and I just have a few of them in here so that when I decide to do a weekly check-in, I have those here. And then I have my self-reflection area, which I need to do a print some pictures um, from my Disney trip. I'm going to do a self-reflection there. Um, and I have some more pages of that. These came from the Healthy Hero Planner. Uh, I don't really need this layout. So, you know, once I use these, I use these. But, you know, they are kind of cool because they say take time to reflect at the top. But, you know. All right, so where we're gonna focus is on the journal section. So before I had note paper back here and I would, um, so in case I felt the need to long form journal, I could, but now that we have the uh, wellness guided journals or the, well, both guided journals, I guess, uh, we can actually use that instead. So you have a tab here, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and use this, this divider. Well, I have to actually know anything about it because it has the week of. So this is going to have the week of, and that's how it starts. And then you have this, which pairs with it, where you have some dot grid and some habit trackers. So this is the wellness guided journal. And then we are going to go ahead and put, because you get four months worth, um, we're gonna go ahead and put a whole month of the wellness guided journal in here. Do, 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 do. Now, the trick of this is that I am actually not going to be using this until August starts because we're in the middle of July right now. And I kind of want to do this like one month at a time. So I'm just getting this in here. I'm not going to start using it just yet. So we are going to start off with wellness. All right. So this is the first month of the wellness uh, guided journal. I did take some stuff out in my three separate planners of my transformer planner to make room for this. I took out some note pages. I also took out a couple of folders and some other things that I had. So, um, so we have the wellness guided journal back here. Um, so I'm going to do one month at a time of each of, of each guided journal. So I have radiate positivity right here, but I'm not going to use radiate positivity until September. And so I will put this one in, um, at the end of August. So for now, we're going to keep this focused on wellness and we're going to use the wellness 
guided journal. So this will be the week of, like that first week of August. And then you have your daily pages. I do have a full detailed flip through of this. Um, and then there's your second week. So I have all of this all set up and ready to go for when it is time. The question I will have to figure out for myself is if I'm gonna put something right here so that I know what month this is from. I might, I might not, just because I think I might want to, well, I am gonna write on the back of it. I'm not sure, I don't know for sure how I'm gonna label this tab right here. So we at least have the guided journal in here. And now, since that didn't take too long, maybe I will go ahead and um, do a short plan with me here of getting some stuff in here, hello, of getting some some stuff in here. That could be kind of fun. Uh, let's see, what do I want to use? I kind of want to use something a little different than I have been using. I've gone with very muted tones. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just use the Womankind book. I haven't used it yet, so this will be the first time I'm using it. And we can go ahead and do some stuff here. So uh, I actually did meet up with my local um, planner girls, and so I feel like I want to actually put a sticker in there for that. Normally I just journal down the page, but I'll stick some stuff in here from time to time. Um, this Hello Weekend sticker is very cute. Um, I think I'm going to actually put this right in the middle. So one of the complaints that I had about this planner when I got it is that all they use is like this peach color scheme and I kind of am not a huge fan of the peach cover color scheme. So, uh, you know, it's like, if I add some stickers then that kind of helps me a little bit. I really like this Never Forget Your Own Worth sticker. And I think I'm gonna put this on the Looking Inward. I've actually been doing these prompts. So I'm gonna go ahead and, well, maybe I'll do this for Thursday. For a focus on Never Forget Your Own Worth. So I'm going to leave the focus on and let this sticker just drop down below the line on the page. All right, let's see. It's funny, this first page has a bunch of stickers I love, like this You Are So Great. Sometimes these little reminders are really awesome for when, you know, especially in a wellness planner, it's so, so cool. So I'm going to cover up the little peach part, but leave the prompts with the you are so great let's see this one's cute it says lazy day I was actually supposed to have a busy day today uh, and last night I could not sleep so today has turned into a lazy day um, we are going to go see Lion King which reminds me that I definitely want to put something in there for that. Lion King is my favorite Disney movie pretty much of all time. Um, so we're going to stick a little Simba in here too, just because. All right. So I don't think I want to do maybe one more full box. Um, let's see. This one will go because I'm going to do it on Sunday. So typically my weekends, I work a lot at the Lego store and I'm getting ready to go back to work. So I'm going to use this one that says no one is you and that is your superpower. And it's the same like color scheme as this weekend banner. It covers a little of the joy of today, but that's okay. So we will stick that there. And then I feel like I want one more thing. One more thing. I've noticed that planning in here and putting stickers in here has been 
a whole lot easier than I thought it was going to be because, um, because I just use very minimal stickers. It's just a little bit to make things pop. So maybe two more things. There are these really cute movie night stickers. This one has uh, silver foil. So I'm actually going to use this one and I'm going to put it next to Simba. it's clear so I can overlap it so that's kind of cool and then honestly I think I just want to use some of these florals um so this little orange one I don't want to use orange because of the peach so I like I was saying I don't want to use orange because of the peach so I think I'm really getting drawn to this one with the navy blue just because it still kind of fits the color scheme of the planner. Let's see, I think I am gonna go ahead and cut it. So I am going to cut it down the middle of this blue flower since that is my favorite part. And I'm, oops, <laughs> it got overexcited. I am going to put this right on the edge of this box on Monday and then I don't want to do it like that. This like this. I'm taking up a lot of Thursday when I do that. Yeah. Yeah. Over here. Maybe. No. No. Where do I want to put it? I want to use it. I just don't want to, maybe I'll just put it here. That's good. I like that. We'll put that there. And then I'm going to grab a small cluster of flowers, put that there. And we need one more, need this one right here. And where do I, I'm going to cut this one too, actually just so I can get more use out of it. I'm gonna put this one right here coming into Friday. And then the bottom part of this one here. So that way we've got some flowers there. Oh no, do I need one here? I don't need one, but I kind of want one. <laughs> Um, all right, so I'm going to take this one, I'm going to cut this one as well. I'm going to put this one here on this box that says reflection and then I think I'm going to put this other half of it over here. Alrighty, there we go. So we are done. So I have now filled that in. I think it works really nicely for me. And I know what I did every day because I have it in my other planner. So I can actually go back in and I can write about everything. It would be better if I was doing this every day and taking time to do this every day. And that is something that I am constantly working on. So I am working on it. And I, you know, it's getting there. It's getting there. Um, I've got to go back and do this weekend um, over here. But all right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys are finding use out of those new guided journals and that you are making your wellness planner work for you in the best way possible. Have a wonderful day. Bye.